Boxing fans, what it do, man? Real quick, Tim Tazu versus Tony Harrison. I love this fight for both of these guys. I think it's something for both of these guys. You know, uh, they can both prove. They, it's, it's something to prove for both of these individuals. Both of these fighters, man. Tim Tazu can prove to the world that, hey, he actually deserves a title fight with uh, Jamel Charlo. You got a lot of guys feel he don't de he didn't deserve it and stuff like that. Me personally, hey man, if you in if you at the top of the rankings like that and you you know you know where you know uh you the mandatory, hey man, it is what it is. You know, you go ahead and get your shot. You got others, they felt like, oh, you know, he wasn't ready yet. Now let me say this. If he goes in there and he beats Tony Harrison, hey man, let it let's let's make it happen. Both of these guys got a chance to win this fight. Both. If they both do what they do best. Tim DeZoo is a pressure fighter. And I think that for him, you know, the best thing for him to do is to try to make it a fight. Try to take uh, that long jab that Tony Harrison has away. You've got to you've got to go in there and make him fight. Because when Tony Harrison has lost, the three fights that he's lost have all been due to knockout and pretty much him getting out of his game plan. Like he's a Tony Harrison, a very good boxer. And I think that when he sticks to boxing, you know, he could be a problem for anybody at 154. You know, but if he gets out of character and he starts trying to like trade and stuff like that, which don't get me wrong, he has good moments at that when he when he's doing that, but I mean, I feel like he doesn't have the greatest chin. We all know that with Tony Harrison by now. And when he's not out there boxing and doing what he does best, you know, hey, man, he can lose. He can get knocked out. For Tony Harrison, the best thing to do, keep that jab out. You got one of the longest. I mean, you got one of the best jabs in the game when used correctly by you. You got one of the best. I mean, that motherfucker snaps, pow, you know, I mean, so you're going to have to kind of do the same thing you did like against uh, a guy like uh, that old boy Sergio Garcia, your last fight. Now, this guy going to be more aggressive and this guy going to have more power. Garcia didn't have power like that. You know, you're going to have to keep this guy out outside. I think you do have respectable power. It's not the best power, but I think you do have respectable, a, a respectable punching power. You know, a good sharp punch to where you can get uh, to Zoo's respect. You know, but it's, I mean, it's going to be a very good fight. It's going to be interesting because to me, I feel like to Zoo is going to try to do everything he can to shorten your punches, shorten that jab as much as he can to get inside this, then the third, make you fight a difficult fight. You know, and like I said, man, like he can, you know, t uh, uh, Tony Harrison, he can. He, he can, you know, he can throw hands and, you know, he can do his thing. If he needs to get in, the, in there in the telephone booth and do his thing, he can do that. But it's going to be it's not going to be a good idea for him. Tim Dezu will have a better chance if you allow him, you know, to get inside, trade, do all those things. Then it's going to be a problem for you. So my question for you guys is this. Who do you have winning this fight? Who do you guys see winning? Uh, I feel as though if Tony Harrison boxes. I think he can have a good shot. If Tim Tazoo can apply a lot of pressure, can get inside, I think he has a good shot. You know, this is a damn good, this is a good fight, man. I like this fight actually better because this is more, it's like these guys can prove something. They both can prove as though, I mean, I mean you know, Tony Harrison don't have to prove anything, but it would be, I mean, hey, if you can get Harrison versus Charlo 3, I'm fine with that. If Tazoo goes in there and he can find a way somehow to win and beat, you know, Tony Harrison to get the fight, you know, with, uh, with, uh, Charlo. Now it's going to feel, uh, now people going to be like, okay, yeah, he deserved, now he really deserves this fight. So, man, what do you guys think, man? Who do you guys have winning this fight? It's going to be a good fight. March 12th. Hey man, what are you, what are your guys, uh, opinion, man? Peace out.